You are now watching Tales from the Grid. Welcome back to another episode of Tales from the Grid. In this episode, I'll be discussing the Hasbro Pulse Power Rangers 30 livestream. Hasbro is being accountable for the overabundance of quality control issues plaguing the recent releases. The message is being shared on the live stream instead of a press release. It would have been better if the CEO, a president, or director would have delivered the message to show that the people at the top also care about this issue. Publicly admitting fault is a way to gain the trust of customers which could lead them to be more loyal consumers. This is a step in the right direction, but they had to make sure that their actions back up their words. In my personal experience, their customer care service hasn't been the best. I really like the way the helmet came out. The inclusion of both swords is appreciated. We finally have a Turbo Ranger figure. The head sculpt is not as good as it could have been. There's no Tommy head sculpt. The digital render face is a better design. Not including a Tommy head sculpt with this figure could be a way to re-release the Tommy version of this figure later on. I appreciate Turbo getting some love. I hope to see the rest of the team get released. Will I buy? Maybe. The head sculpt came out fantastic. No zip charger. Not including the zip charger could be a way to save money. This figure came out quite alright. Will I buy? No. The head sculpt came out pretty good. The helmet came out pretty good as well. No V-Lancer. Not including a V-Lancer could be a way to save money. This figure came out quite alright. Will I buy? No. It's good to see Turbo and Lightspeed Rescue figures being released. Fans of these seasons finally get figures, missing some accessories. Re-releasing new figures from other seasons can help bring in customers who may have walked away from the Lightning Collection. Are the fans going to have to wait years for the rest of these teams to be completed? Will I buy? I'll buy a Lightspeed Rescue Green. <laughs> The hair came out pretty okay. The face on the packaging and the figure's actual face is two different faces. Selling a pre-existing figure with physical tweaks is a way to sell the same figure twice. Crossover products help reach more potential customers. Because the face doesn't match the box, I feel like this figure is a bit of a bait and switch. Will I buy? No. This figure came out pretty okay. The face on the packaging and the figure's actual face is two different faces. Selling a pre-existing figure with physical tweaks is a way to sell the same figure twice. Crossover products help reach more potential customers. Because the face doesn't match the box, I feel like this figure is a bit of a bait and switch. Will I buy? No. Fans of this crossover get more figures. The head sculpts on the figures deviate from the designs of the head sculpts on the packaging and digital renders. The $3 price difference from the standard line may be due to licensing fees to Cobra Kai. The blue and yellow versions of these figures will possibly conclude this line. Will I buy? No. A good amount of accessories come with this figure. The dragon shield and arm pans are removable. There's no Jason or Rocky head sculpt. The lack of a head sculpt makes this figure inconsistent with the others. Selling a pre-existing figure with physical tweaks is a way to sell the same figure twice. The lack of a head sculpt is ridiculous because all the other remastered figures have one. Will I buy? No. The green candle and the green morpher is included. The remastered green ranger has no dragon shield. You have to buy the remastered red ranger to get the dragon shield. Selling a pre-existing figure with physical tweaks is a way to sell the same figure twice. Removing the iconic dragon shield from the remastered green ranger and bundling it with the remastered red ranger will force customers who wanted to buy both figures. Removing the dragon shield seems like a way to milk more money out of the fans. Is Hasbro nickel and diamond accessories now? Now? Will I buy? No. A good amount of accessories come with this figure. The head sculpt looks a bit off. Selling a pre-existing figure with physical tweaks is a way to sell the same figure twice. Besides the head sculpt, this figure is fine. Will I buy? No. The head sculpt is a major improvement from the last sack figures. Selling a pre-existing figure with physical tweaks is a way to sell the same figure twice. A drastic improvement of a head sculpt can help fans justify buying a re-released figure. This was a well done remaster. Will I buy? Yes. The Black Ranger figure is now an available option in the selfie series. The custom head sculpts look nothing like the customers. Theoretically, the head sculpts cost $35. Selling a pre-existing figure with physical tweaks is a way to sell the same figure twice. Making figures available for this line can help clear inventory. Selfie series figures aren't worth $59.99. Will I buy? No. This figure came out well. The accessories came out well too. Does this figure really deserve to be called a deluxe figure? Since the Mighty Minotaur was a villain in the special, it makes sense to release this figure and the Snizzard figure right before the special dropped. The design of this figure is very unique and Hasbro definitely wants to recoup the money on this unique mold. Will I buy? No.
This figure came out well. The staff has a better paint job. The head sculpts are better designed. One of the head sculpts looks a bit off. No Robo Rita head sculpt? Selling a pre-existing figure with physical tweaks is a way to sell the same figure twice. Since Robo Rita was the main villain in the special, it makes sense to release this figure right before the special dropped. I wouldn't be surprised if Hasbro releases a Robo Rita version later. Will I buy? No. A better version of Rita is now available. These figures are not the once and always versions of these characters. The figures tie into the special, therefore leading customers to impulse buy. I wouldn't be surprised if Hasbro releases the once and always versions a year from now. Will I buy? Maybe a Robo Rita. This figure was designed very well. The black and gold version is more expensive than the regular version even though it's only using three colors. Hasbro originally sold this through a $200 NFT. Selling a pre-existing figure with physical tweaks is a way to sell the same figure twice. The NFT scheme probably failed so this could be a way to clear the leftover inventory. Hasbro really tried to pull a fast one. Hasbro really tried to pull a fast one with this whole NFT stunt. Will I buy? No. It's good to see Turbo and Lightspeed Rescue figures being released. Fans of these seasons finally get figures, missing some accessories. Re-releasing new figures from other seasons can help bring in customers who may have walked away from the Lightning Collection. Are the fans going to have to wait years for the rest of these teams to be completed? Will I buy? I'll buy a Lightspeed Rescue Green. Fans of this crossover get more figures. The head sculpts on the figures deviate from the designs of the head sculpts on the packaging and digital renders. The $3 price difference from the standard line may be due to licensing fees to Cobra Kai. The blue and yellow versions of these figures will possibly conclude this line. Will I buy? No. Hasbro is attempting to fix mistakes made on the previous releases of these figures. Jason Head Sculpt is missing. Green Ranger Dragon Shield is missing. Black Ranger is missing. Charging deluxe prices to fix your mistakes? Making more mistakes while fixing mistakes. Selling a pre-existing figure with physical tweaks is a way to sell the same figure twice. Re-releasing a figure with minor added paint details, a few new accessories, and different packaging is a way to sell the same figure at deluxe prices. This remastered line is starting to look like Hasbro is trying to pull another fast one on the fans. Will I buy? Zack and Zack only. A better version of Rita is now available. These figures are not the once and always versions of these characters. The figures tie into the special, therefore leading customers to impulse buy. I wouldn't be surprised if Hasbro releases the once and always versions a year from now. Will I buy? Maybe a Robo Rita. Thank you for watching another episode of Tales from the Grid, and until next time, have a good one.